here at Jets Camp with Ian Rappaport. Ian, so many storylines entering this year's camp, but in your opinion, which are you looking forward to the most as a term of playing out here at training camp? I mean, there's a lot on the field that, that I like and I'm kind of watching for, you know, how big of a leap is Sam Donald going to make in year two? How good is Le'Veon going to be after the, you know, sitting out a year and impact of C.J. Mosley on this defense? There's a lot of good actual football stuff. Honestly, for me, like, I'm more curious about the impact of Joe Douglas working with Adam Gase. And, you know, it's unbelievable the sort of vibe, the, the juice in this building with those two guys working together. And who does he pick up off the waiver wire? Who does he, you know, I don't know about trade for, but, you know, who does he sign that people don't know about that's going to come in and make an impact? I mean, there's a million different examples in Philly and in Baltimore and Chicago of, of ways where he's you know, made his imprint in ways that people didn't expect, just kind of helping his football team win. Uh, I'm fascinated to see how he does it here. With the buzz around Sam Darnold in particular, and when you factor in really the recent success of your two quarterbacks like Carson, Jared Goff, what kind of impact and what kind of jump really do you think Sam Darnold can make with an improved supporting cast? As, as big as all of them. Uh, I think if you watch him, look, the, the stats last year are what they are. If you watched him in like December, you'd say, this guy is gonna be really good. And you know, when I go around to other teams, nobody likes to give anyone credit for anything. But you go around to other teams and even they say, I think that Jets quarterback's gonna be really good. He showed up in great shape. He showed up thinner. He obviously works hard and cares about it. What's the biggest challenge that you think the Jets are gonna have to overcome? Maybe it's training camp early in the regular season in order to really capitalize on the expectations that are surrounded externally. I mean, to me, the only thing is, you know, it'd be nice to get off to a good start. I think everybody would like that. Main thing is stay healthy. You know, if you look at the, the first 25 or 30 guys, I think the Jets are in a really good spot. It's just the depth where if they get hit by injuries a ton, it will hurt. If they stay healthy, they should be in the mix with everyone. And you know what happens? Like, you know, God forbid a team that's not quite ready to win, but, you know, they're five and five and then six and six and it's December and they still got a chance like there are one or two of those teams in the playoffs every year if everything goes well for the Jets like it being December and them still being alive and that would be a good outcome. So CJ Mosley is someone that very quiet off the field a little louder on the field as someone that's very much in tune to the NFL what exactly are the Jets getting in CJ Mosley we've heard a thousand different stories but is there one that sticks out to you about who CJ Mosley is the player? I think the main thing to me is, well, I mean, first of all, every team he's been on has been good. And either that's completely random and by accident, or he's part of the thing that makes teams around him, makes teammates around him good. Uh, he cares about it. He works insanely hard. Um, he's very smart. Very, very, very smart. Everything that Jamal Adams is on the back end, Mosley is in the middle. Look at the middle of this Jets defense whenever Quinnen gets in here. They should be pretty stout, and I think getting someone like Mosley, it was expensive, but I don't think anyone's going to get to, like, October and be like, oh, man, I wish we hadn't given this guy this much money. I think it's going to be worth it. I'm glad you mentioned Jamal Adams because I just wanted to touch on him before we wrap up. We mentioned a lot of the guys that got brought in, Le'Veon, CJ. We mentioned Sam's growth. What about the growth from year two to three for in Jamal Adams? What do you think his expectations are for this Jets defense with an extremely stout center of the defense? I mean, I think his expectations should be as high as they go. I mean, every defense Greg Williams has had has been really good. Really brash and really good uh, and really fun to watch, which, which is just selfish for us, but it will be legitimately be fun to watch. I'm not sure what Jamal Adams needs to do. I mean, he's almost there. You know, we saw, we've seen the safety market get reset. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he's among the highest paid safeties at some point too. Like, he's that good and he's a good guy and he's got crazy energy, which obviously you guys know. I think it's kind of all there for him, and you know this defense has a shot to be really good, young and really good, uh, and he's going to be right in the middle of it. Great. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you. Olivia Landis here with ESPN's Diana Russini. Diana, the Jets have had a very busy offseason, and now that training camp has started, which storyline are you specifically keeping your eye on? Well, we know that Adam Gase was brought in to help get this offense producing. We know Sam Darnold now going into his second year. And, of course, the gigantic free agency splash and getting and paying a large amount for running back Le'Veon Bell, who, from what I've learned from this organization, they are so enthusiastic and excited about what he can bring and how he's really going to be able to develop the players around. 
around him. And the idea that the three of them, that being Adam Gase leading the way on offense here with Sam Darnold uh, and, and Le'Veon Bell as that running back here, just those three pieces alone, I think right out of the gate are going to be the most important parts for the Jets to have early season success. You mentioned head coach Adam Gase. Obviously, it's his first season with the green and white. How high are expectations for him to perform and turn this team around in 2019? I think you have to look at the roster here and, and see that there are not a lot of holes. So what tends to happen here is you, you, you figure on defense and offense, you've got the players. So now they're going to need the leader. It seems the language he speaks, the connection he already has with the players. Jamal Adams actually put it best. He said he's so competitive. He's the most competitive guy in the room. And so when you hear that the head coach is that competitive, it trickles down. So while the pressure is going to be on the head coach, I think he's going to probably be putting a lot of pressure on himself, which I think will turn out to be successful for the team. So quarterback Sam Darnold is now in his second year. How big of a leap, because we see a lot with quarterbacks who enter their second season, how big of a leap can he make from that year one to year two? One of my favorite things to do is talk to quarterbacks their rookie year about how comfortable they are. And they go on and on about how they learn the playbook and they feel comfortable and the first day of school is over. And then it's not until their second year that they reflect back on their first year at how much they didn't know. But it just takes a full season of getting and understanding what the NFL is like. So that growth mentally, physically, the understanding, even the little small things that come with being an athlete, I think start to really set in. And then the, then the layer of comfort kicks in. So for Sam, I think getting over that hurdle of comfort is now over, he's there. And the honeymoon phase is over for Sam Darnold. I think Jets fans were really patient with him last year, which I, I thought was, was pretty impressive knowing this fan base. Uh, but I think now it's time for, for him to show, improve on on early downs and, and making better decisions and I, and I think right out of the gate if, if he shows that and uses the maturity that it seems he's had and, and grown into I think they, they can be really good and earlier you mentioned Adam Gase Le'Veon Bell and Sam Darnold all three of their chemistry but how much of a role can Adam Gase play in Sam Darnold's development now that he's in his second season, but first with Adam Gase. Yeah, I think that's going to be everything. I think it is the exact reason why Coach Gase was brought here. And and from the way Sam has expressed what their relationship is and, and how they're coming up with this offense, and again, back to that comfort, I think Sam's going to feel like he can really talk to Adam about what his issues are and, and where he needs to get better. So as long as they keep that open line and, and Adam continues to do what he's known to do, which is to be a brilliant mind when it comes to film work and teaching what it is that he's seeing, uh, I, I think this could be a, a match made in heaven for New York. We already mentioned Le'Veon Bell, and we know that C.J. Mosley was brought on to be the quarterback of this defense, and then Jamison Crowder to add some options on the offense. Out of all of the free agent big tickets that you think of, who do you think can come in and make the most immediate impact? Um, I, I'm, I'm inclined to say Jamison Crowder because I covered him for years in Washington, and he has a style and a play about him that I remember talking to the coaches in Washington about him, and he was always their favorite player. Like, it was just clear to them that they just thought he could ball. So I can't wait to see what he can do in this offense, but I think I would be slightly dumb if I didn't just point out that how great and how elite Le'Veon Bell is and, and what he's actually going to be able to do, the options that he's going to give the players around him. And I think that's really what makes him powerful. Not so much how excellent he is as a running back, but just the fact that he allows everything and everyone around him to be creative and smart and productive.